Hello, I'm Wes with Blue Swift Axles. Today I'm going to show you how to measure the torsion axle for your trailer. When measuring your axle brackets, we are going to go from outside to outside as well as inside to inside. The reason for this is some manufacturers will have a bracket that is two inches wide, like this one, and some will use a bracket that is two and a half inches wide. By knowing both of those measurements, we can customize your axle to be a perfect fit when you place it underneath your trailer. Okay, now let's measure inside a bracket to inside a bracket. Place the tape measure to the inside of the left bracket, pulling it across to the right side. We have a measurement of 30 and 3 quarters inches. The next step will be the outside of bracket to outside of bracket. Place the tape measure to the far side, pull it across, and we have a measurement of 35 inches. By knowing both of those measurements, we can customize your axle to be a perfect fit when you place it underneath your trailer. I want to speak about the axle orientation. In this case we have the axle long leg out where you can see the long leg is towards the outside of the axle. This bracket can also be positioned with a long leg in. We will now measure the width of the axle beam. We have an overall width of two inches. Another measurement that you're going to need is the bolt circle. We have a five bolt hub here. If you have a four, six, or eight bolt hub you can measure from the center to center straight across. Since we do not have the stud straight across on a five bolt, we need to measure from the outside of the one, skip the next one, come to the middle of the next bolt, which is four and a half inches. This will be a five on four and a half bolt circle. We will now measure the hub face, which is the overall width of the axle. We will start by placing the tape measure to the smooth part of the hub where the wheel attaches. Draw the tape measure across to the far side, measuring to the outside hub face of the other hub, which is 48 and a quarter inches. Determining the trailing arm angle is very tricky. In this case, we're gonna line up the bottom point and the top point of the diamond, making sure that it lines up directly down the center of the axle tube. Over time, the axle can wear out, the rubber starts to collapse, and this arm will move up. As that happens, this diamond will move forward. If that happens, you can have an arm that looks like a zero, and in all reality, it's a 10 degree down. In this case, we'll line them up. It's straight down the tube, and we have a 10 degree down assembly. In this photo, you'll see that the square is not completely lined up. The two points are off to the one side, not straight down the center of that tube. The rubber inside that axle has been worn out, causing this arm to shift up. What looks like a 10 degree down or a zero degree arm is actually a 22 and a half degree. Remember, we can manufacture your axle in 48 hours. If you have any questions on how to measure your axle or what type of axle is best for you, feel free to give us a call at 515-608-8040. Thank you.